Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Civilization 5. Hi. The time is 11 a.m. We have started this series recording exactly one hour late due to the wonderful problems of Civ 5 multiplayer. Welcome to the wonderful world of Civilization 5. If only I five. could tell you of the troubles we have enjoyed this morning. Oh. But I won't. I won't bore you with that. I joined the Gulf of Course by everybody. Shin Pyrian is here. Uh, hopefully they'll say something. Uh, hey. Duncan is here. <laughs> I'm here. Rithian is here. Hello. Um, we have to choose the host for the next. Um, should we go for the Mayans again, or should we uh, vote for the Swedes? I vote forever peace. Vote for Arabia. A lot of people get a lot of votes. Arabia have 10 What's with all these votes? Now. It's a lot like... Damn, I know. It's like suddenly jumped up, hasn't well, it? Well, the international games are on, guys. It fuck, is. Fuck We're the doing games. games. The games are shit. Oh, yeah. Fuck the games! It's 33% completed already. Holy shit! Ooh, get on it, guys! What? What? Yeah, what? 33% <laughs> completed already? already? Rillian's blasting it out. What? what? Can I re-engineer Russia? Really annoying. What do you mean I'm blasting it out? <laughs> He's blasting yeah, it out. How do you know? How do you know it's, it's me? It's gotta be you. Because you were very quick to say, yep, when we when you heard it was uh, it was on. Uh. Well, I, I okay. So I assumed that Lewis yeah, would be going straight for it, but what I think is that he stopped the tourism part and is just going fuck it and straight for science. Because let's be honest, he knows the science game like the back of his hand. So I'm thinking. Yeah, there's no way I'm winning the tourism. Yeah. Picture right here. So I wanted to make sure that if it plays, he doesn't win. But if I mean. Now we have that mind games, right? How much? Well, you've do taken it? all the tourism wonders. I don't know what I'm supposed to do, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? It's nerfed you so I'm much. I'm getting plus two tourism, guys. Whoa! So you better watch out. Sneaky tourism victory, Inc. You better watch out. Yeah. Let's have a look. Let's see who's going to win. Tourism influenced by player. Oh, everyone's unknown. Everybody. <laughs> uh, so. Is that bad? Shit. No. That just means, like, it's not really a problem. I'm not going to win a tourism victory in any way whatsoever. 52% completed. Holy shit. Games. So you guys better get on that if you want to have any any points from it at all. I don't want any points from um, it. Oh, that's right. No then. points. Should I invest? Should you invest even if you don't care? You should. Yeah, you get you get some, uh, something. I mean, the silver and bronze stuff and adds up, you know. Even for, like, even if you just contribute a little bit, you get plus three happiness. Which is pretty nice. Must a little yeah. bit, like one turn of production. Two hundred and forty. Well, you need production. your two hundred and forty total production sent to it for a bit of happiness. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, I don't know. Then maybe that's not so good. It's a <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Everyone having a good time. Good day. Good. Good weekend. Yeah. Good, having a good, good whatever time. Lewis has put me in a right old bad mood with his grumbling, honestly. Yeah, honestly, was, man, I've been so, well, well, just, very I've, cheerful this morning. I've had so many morning, problems and... this morning with this computer. It's really put me, it really triggered me, actually. <laughs> like, it was one thing after another. That's the problem. It was like, this is broken, so this... Oh, puts him in a warmongering mood, or do you oh, think it's just... Oh, I yeah. hope so. It's mind games. I'm sorry. I mean, I, I don't want to say anything, We but... shouldn't let the external politics of the office get yeah. involved in... <laughs> I don't think in, so, either. The recording, ...getting the recording rolling interfere with the politics of this game. Should I we? I agree. No. no, I agree. God, no. It's full-on mind games. He's just he's just messing with he's you guys. He's psyching you out. Yeah. Psyching us out. So oh. you feel like uh, shit. Nah. He wouldn't... He me, because he can switch it on, like you know, like that. Me, and then you're no. stuck. He's such, a, uh, he's such a nice guy. He would never. <laughs> um, we saw a magician last night. Oh, right. Oh my god, we did. Yeah. Yeah. Was he That's good? Cool. He was. He was like a street magician. He was uh, Latino. He had a, a Cthulhu patch on his arm. Lewis was there. <laughs> Tell them about the magician. Lewis. Oh man, it was so weird. Like, like. You know, Tom, if you don't know this, Tom and Harry go to the pub every day. Okay? That, that's, well, I found out yesterday <laughs> that Harry's dad is like a pub owner, okay? A pub owner. Yeah. And that makes a lot of sense to me in my, in my mind, that Barry would eventually inherit running a pub. Because I think Barry could do that, right? I'm just saying I could see Barry running a pub in a future 
in a future. It would be quite a trendy pub, quick, modern, full of memes. Mm. Maybe like a gaming <laughs> pub, right? Twitch pub or whatever. Twitch you know what I, mean? pub. I could see that. That'd be cool, actually. I could see Barry running a pub. I could see Barry as an old man running a pub with an angry dog. I like and it. the same thing with Tom, right? Tom's got a, got a big graph exterior. You know, he's not like us, Duncan, like us soft skin <laughs> nerds. <laughs> Like me and you, Rydian, are all soft and <laughs> pathetic and, you know, puny. Yeah, no, yeah, no I, I, didn't even, I didn't even get silver. Sorry. What do you mean you didn't get silver? Continue I with the story. I've 444 points in it. Bloody hell, never mind. Is it Keep going. You're yeah. bang in the middle of a story there. Could, uh, That's right. Keep, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Story's good. Let's keep going. So um, we, were at, we were at the uh, the old pub. So every night they go to the pub, okay? It's just a thing that happens. Tom and... It is almost every night, isn't it, Tom? Just pub, pub that you boys. and you and Barry go to the pub. And I was, th- I asked you, I said, "What do you eat?" Right? Because it's like you go straight from the office yeah. to the pub. And I always have this problem. I'm like, "Do you want to go and eat something whenever I go to the pub with you?" And you're like, "Well, nah, I just stay <laughs> at the pub." And it's it's not like you explain it. It's not like you have an alternative. It's not like, "Oh yeah, we're gonna eat later," or blah blah blah. It's just like, "Nah, we're just gonna drink beer." Like, like that's your dinner, right? In, yeah. Of the evening, <laughs> liquid okay? lunch. Yeah, it's like liquid bread. That's what they call beer. So anyway. Um, we were out, and, and, and it's, it happens all through the year, okay? You go to this, this same pub. Um, I won't say what it is, but outside in the winter, there's like one bench, and you huddle around it in the freezing cold, okay? But in summer, there's like 50 benches, and they're all packed. So in winter, there's one bench, no one's there, apart from you, in the freezing cold, drinking beer after work every night. But in summer, Jesus. there's 50 other people there drinking beer, so we struggled to find a table, but fortunately Tom knows everyone in the world. So just walking <laughs> around, we find that there's a guy that Tom knows. And so we sit with him and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, um, turns out that this is the way you meet people, I guess. It's through people. So this guy knows somebody and says, oh, hi, come over here. And it's a guy with like a Cthulhu patch on his shoulder. And the reason that Tom's friend started talking to him was because they played D&D and he's a huge fan of Call of Cthulhu. They play, he loves the Cthulhu anyway. They got chatting. This guy looks totally weird. He looks like a person out of Call of Cthulhu, okay? He's got like a evil villain mar- moustache, um, you know, with like, like kind of like Shin used to have, but waxed uh, at the end, you know? So it's like pointed and sideways. <laughs> and he's got a really odd bit of facial hair on his chin, which is like like a soul patch almost, like covers the whole chin. Like I can't grow hair directly on the chin area, uh, like the front, but he had it just there. Um, and... <laughs> Like oh, I, he wasn't wearing a top hat, but I feel like he should have been. He could have. He could have. I can't quite remember what he looked like. Like I don't think he. I don't know if he Darren Browned me or something, but he might have been wearing a top hat. I don't think he was. Anyway, <laughs> nice guy, really nice guy. And immediately we start <laughs> talking to him. He pulls out like a little bit of like like d- like dirt out of the lint out of his pocket, and is like fiddling with it, and then like blinks, the th- it catches on fire with a gigantic flash and there's a lollipop in his hand and he gives it to Tom. <laughs> <laughs> that is brilliant. And it's like, it was like just magical. Like it started off like that. And then he just, and we were all like blown away. This guy like instantly had the attention of everyone <laughs> around him at that point. Um, and he just did these card tricks and they were all, they were all a series of card tricks related to burning stuff or lighting stuff on fire. And he even got a vape out oh, at one point he did a vape magic did trick. A magic trick with a vape, and it was like this guy knows his audience so well <laughs> because he had the same vape as um, this other guy at the table. And I thought, I thought he was going to do some sort of switcheroo, right? Like he somehow planned that this other guy, that this guy we were sitting with vape was the same as his, and he was going to switch them up somehow using sleight of hand. He was like, "Why don't you try your vape now?" Oh my god, it's changed to strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> That would have been like an amazing a vape magician. magician. But he didn't do that. But he didn't do that. No, he did. He basically just had like some sort of electronic, like basically he, 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 like Tom picked a series of cards off of him and he figured out how to like put them in weird places. Um, and then oh my. he like burned a card and the burned card was like Tom's card but with the vape. combined with Tom's other card. And then the vape actually said on it, what Tom's card hey, was. Shin's pop and literacy. So, so, so it was just, it was just, it was great, Tom. I feel like maybe I haven't done it justice, but it, we were all boggled by the end of it. We hadn't even drunk that much. Man, it was great. I just, it just made me think how, how, how cool magic people are. I love, if you're, if you're are a magician, pretty badass. honestly, like, you know, you've, it's charisma, isn't it? Just, just, 
There's something about magicians, I think. What was, what was going to be your magic name again? My magic, magic name? Magic Mike. Um, I can't remember. Um, magic Mike. Do you remember? <laughs> I can't, no, I don't. But we came up with... <laughs> magic names for all of us. A funny, funny name for us. Oh, those. shit. I, what I, was my I, name? What's your magic name? You've got to come up with it yourself. Oh. The, the Great Trollman. Perfect. Trollman. The Great Trollman. You're hired. Trollman. That's you, Shin. All right. Um, Pyrian, if you, uh, what's, what's your magician name? The Ancient One. The Ancient One. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> the okay, one. Okay, that's cool. The- <laughs> sure. That's, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> that's cool, man. That's cool, Grandpa. I wouldn't have a magician name, but I've, my magic show would just be the Northern Lights. You remember about a thousand it? years ago, Tom, when I said, wow, I can see why you got Bill and Ted. There's a copper mine right below it. Yeah? Sure. You st- and you st- up to this point, I don't think your borders have grown a single fucking tile. <laughs> I don't think you've got any kind of culture building in there whatsoever, because Rajar, my city, has grown all the way around Bill and Ted to get that copper oh mine. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I think there were like mountains and stuff in the way. But Bill and Ted's garbage. My whole my whole city is How garbage. We're just here for forever, Peace Duncan. Yeah. You enjoy that copper. Live long and copper prosper. Copper prosper. Copper prosper. Um, I managed, I managed to somehow make two city state allies. I have no idea how. Uh, Cape Town is my ally. I must have done something nice to them. They've given me nice some people. some whales, and another one is my ally too. And I'm also friends with a bunch too. I'm at 19 happiness all of a sudden. Yeah, I don't nice. even know how. I don't know, like everyone's. I've not really been paying freedom. attention. I must admit, this, that this, helps? this this session too much. Uh, pardon? Is, that, is everyone going freedom help? Freedom, freedom, freedom. Oi! Well, it's just that you can't, if you can't deal with the happiness loss, uh, being a different ideology than the big influencers will cost you a bit. But if you have the uh, happiness to spare, you're fine. I decided to make the change because it was a mistake to go autocracy you in the first place. You gotta make a change. Yep. For what's in your life. Oh, I can get machine guns now. Machine guns. You know that? Do you know that song? It's by a guy called Michael Jackson. Never heard Ooh. of him. He was a very popular singer in the '80s and, to a lesser degree, the '90s. I liked some of his songs. Right. Yeah. I liked a lot of his songs. I I remember I had uh, the Beat It album on cassette tape back in the day. Nice. Ooh. How old are you? Shin is just Shin is pumping out <laughs> wonders, and he's got like the highest science now. Oh, no, wait, these are uh, just lost the highest specific science. wonders to uh, my autocracy. Oh yeah, right. Oh, I see. So no one else you will get the autocracy. Oh, you made Neuschwanstein. I was so close to finishing that. Oh, that's a shame. I was like seven I times even, away. I even spent. I even spent a great engineer on it, and I still Shit. couldn't get there. I didn't. I, well, damn, uh, I thought I was going to get like host privileges. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I still had a couple of turns left, but yeah. Is it good? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Neutronstein. Neutronstein? You d- you didn't even know what it was, did you? You just like Wait. clicked it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What does it do? Hey, when you have when you have the big dick, better swing it around, right? <laughs> well, since you're such an expert, what does it do? Yeah, what's this do? It gives you a bunch of gold. What's this motherfucker do, mate? It's when nice. you were talking about throwback to that vape magician. <laughs> Oh man, vape magician. Please, let's talk more about it. I did enjoy that. <laughs> no, he was gonna... he was a really cool guy. It was just quite an alien situation. It was, wasn't it? It was something unlike everything we'd been at. But I guess this is what happens in summer. You know, I've walked through Bristol a bit and there's just like some of the some of the nights in Bristol have been really kind of odd. Um in a in a kind of okay way. Like 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 there's just been people out there in the street kind of doing busking but but with a big crowd of people all sat around all just being all excited about it and stuff it's been weird it's been it's been unlike what, I, what i'm used is to is it the, the sight of people being happy is so alien to I you i really think it is yeah yeah <laughs> yeah what are, what are all these people happy dad oh they're, they're the joyful folks standing young on Lulu. Yeah. who's suggesting that me for forever peace oh. forever peace I think it's a good idea I'm gonna I, I have a big army but I can pay for it so I'm gonna vote for it are you we really all voting for peace, right? standing army tax yeah, I feel like not? a standing army tax anyone who votes against that doesn't really want forever want peace war, it's too expensive they want war it's much too expensive for some of us 
that have a large standing army. Well, maybe it's time to let some of those guys go back to their homes, Pyrion. Or <laughs> let them go back. They haven't got other jobs. The, You're they, starting they, shit here, Tom. They could I'm have really other starting jobs. to look at you as an issue in this southwestern peninsula. If you're going to fuck with me, I'll fuck with you, son. How would you like that? Well, forever peace, we will... I will take your forever peace oh, and passed. I will blast it at you with a take, cannon. It take, passed. Yeah. Me. Yeah. Well, yeah. Everyone voted nay on it. Like, it was three votes total thrown at it, you know? Oh my god, everyone just yayed. Just everything. Freedom is good, though. That's gonna I hurt knew got people freedom. were going to yay freedom, so I wasn't even going to contest that. But I've got 34 happiness, so I'm okay. Freedom, yay, freedom, yay. 34 happiness? Yeah. How do you get so much happiness? It's just get real happy got, like, about three things. Oh. <laughs> I have oh, he's got four. four. Oh, he's There's some deals now. on your tables, friends. I've got kangaroo. Um, Angor and I am not Chinese. Oh, why, why, why no, why no this? I made, I made you a counter offer. Okay, fine, Tom, fine. <laughs> I will be uh, your defensive pactsman. See, I think it's just nice, you know. That's that's Tom's you know, He wants uh, defensive pacts with everyone to protect himself from being put into war. Sweden took Vancouver from me. Vancouver oh, are nice Sweden. because they're militaristic, which means they give me units, which means I don't have to buy units, which is good because I hate buying units. It's shame actually because so we're on quick, right? Uh, which means that at this point, pretty much already, I've pretty much already gone past my um, units, my special units, which would is a shame yeah. because Corodians are really cool. Like they have this on march thing where they keep healing if they do things. So I'd like to have like the Swedish army be mostly Corodian stuff, but we're way past that. I'm like researching atomic theory, so like there's no point in building them, you know. Do you say your special units Corellians? Corellians. Corellian. Corellian. Corellian corvettes. Mm. We, oh fuck. Mm -hmm. Aren't the Corellians like... Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, that fucking resolution has completely ruined me. I'm losing a lot of money now. Well, you were, did have a big old army. Delete some shit. You might want to just dis start disbanding some of the random shit units you've got, like that Pathfinder and stuff. Um, yeah, the Lancer. Lewis. Lewis, what's this knight coming across the sea? Are you planning to attack oh, the, the, the knight? Oh, the knight! The knight is invading! <laughs> oh my god, oh, that's shit. a lone knight. Careful, <laughs> buddy! Yeah, oh. careful, I'm gonna, my battleship is, is lining up the sights on it. That poor <laughs> guy. The battleship? Yeah. Oh my god. Like 2,000 years ago, like, you set him... <laughs> there's a knight in like a rowboat. Set him to auto-explore the world, <laughs> yeah. and he's like, Yes, master, I'll explore the whole place! And he comes back and he's mapped everywhere. And you're like, oh, I didn't even, I don't even remember you. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> off. It, it was my great, great grandfather so that I've sent you off. mapped the whole world. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, we got radar. Uh, we got satellites, everything up there. We can, we can see it all. Lewis, we forgot about you, Tom. Lewis has completed the Manhattan Project, gentlemen. And Duncan has built the Pentagon. So have you, Shin. Yeah, but no. So have you. But this is like North Korea, right? I'm America. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. I had them for ages. I was the first to have them also. But then he's North Korea and he's building these missiles. Who? Lewis. Lewis. Yeah. He's got the Manhattan project. I think we as, a, as the UN need to come together to, to just come say no. Together. Sanctions. Embargoes. That's what they are, aren't they? Sanctions are embargoes. Mm -hmm. Got a tank. Yeah, you've got tanks on my borders. Borders with forever peace, Duncan. It's, it's at the border between three empires. It's just like, it's just it's just showing a, 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 a strong, uh, peaceful vibe. It's very, it's got, very hostile. No, it's not hostile. It's it's actually just like it's just decorative. <laughs> if anything, decorative, yeah. decorative tanks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> these are just de <laughs> these are just decorative guns. We've just got like some seventy six millimeter decorative things. All those dead people, their decoration as well. Don't worry about that. We're going to decorate your soldiers with bullets. No, 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 no bullets. We don't even have any shells. Uh, oh, why am I suddenly really unhappy? What? Did, like, loads of deals end or something? Well, loads maybe. of deals did oh, end. Crap. Oh yeah, they did just end. All right, let's let's do that. Let's re up some deals. Re up. Re up. Re up. Shin <laughs> silver for incense proposed. No, I don't need happiness. What? Oh. Okay, oh god, Lewis is going to run Ife! No, I'm what did Ife ever do to you? Oh, happiness is great. Oh. Citrus spice. Sugar and spice. spice. Hello. Deal for you. Okay. Oh, there's barbarian tanks in my lands now. 
Barbarian Fucking tanks. No one wants to re-up all these deals, so I'm like super unhappy. Shin, do you want to re-up this deal? <laughs> I just realised that trade, trade is a weapon. It's like the, the only... Yeah, the, by denying trade. Any real war that exists. Not that I'm at war with you, Duncan. Just, you know. Come on, man. The trade wars. Incense for silver. Have a hurt. Have a hurt. 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 Wait, oh, sorry, that's my really. language. Sorry. Oh, I sorry. know, I know that. Sorry, <laughs> that was racist. Sorry. Well, that's mean. Pretty <laughs> girl. Come on, do the deal. Come on. I'll think, I'll think about it. Come on. I'll think about it. Well, just think about it quickly, so I can do our deals. Accept it or deny it. Oh, you can't do a deal while I've got this on my table. No, you can only have one deal. <laughs> it's really dumb. <laughs> <laughs>